Hi everybody, it's Dee Slater with Create with D. Welcome to my Wednesday night live at five, streaming both on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So however that you're here, welcome, whether you're joining me live or you're watching the replay. So thank you for tuning in. I've got what I think is a fun project here tonight. We are going to make um, a notebook cover and I'm going to show you how that you can do this for any size of notebook. So, and there's no glue at all when we do our notebook or do our cover. So that's even better on that. So um, I just have to kind of share with you um, as we get started that it has been a crazy day. I work full time at our family business and it's been, um, and seasonably warm here in Indiana. Normally we're slowing down a little bit, but we are just going so strong because our work, um, we go as the contractors go. It's Slater's Concrete Products. And so super busy, a little short staffed. And um, then I came to my studio and the internet was down here. <laughs> and so I had to get all of that restarted and, but I'm here in time. So it's been, um, a little bit of a whirlwind, so I might have to just settle myself down just a little bit. Hi, thanks you guys for coming and saying hi and everything. So, um, okay, um, let's see. I think um, the only thing I wanted to share with you about this project is um, ahead of time is that it is going to be something, it's a sneak peek of a class that I'm going to offer um, that you can get to go next week. It's all about gift giving. It's a gift giving class, but also these are going to be great craft fair items. So if you do craft fairs, that might be something that you're interested in. Okay, I'll get the, um, the camera turned around and um, we'll get started right away on our project. Alrighty, so our class tonight is going to be about doing a no glue notebook cover. Um, and it's also almost in a way, no measure as well. So, um, and by that, I mean, it's like you can take, um, I'll show you how you get the measurements just based on whatever your notebook is. So I have, um, this notebook, I got a bunch of these on Amazon and, and I'll put my, um, Amazon link on this particular notebook if you like it, um, afterwards. Um, but this notebook, um, it measures... Oh goodness, I had it here. Well, let me just do it real quick. Um, closed, it measures um, about four and a quarter by, let's see here, by five and three fourths on it. So um, what we do is you take this, take your notebook um, to get the measurements and you open it. So when I open this notebook um, here, um, or I should say, is that right? Yeah, it's four and a quarter. Um, when it's opened, it's um, actually eight and three fourths by five and three fourths. Is that right? How did I do this wrong? Let me just double check here. Yes, I don't know what I was doing. So this is five and three fourths um, this way. And so then when you open it up long ways, then that's where it's eight and a um, eight and three fourths. So don't measure it closed, open it up. And that's what you want. You want the you know, the height and the length on it. Um, okay, so that's, again, this notebook opened is eight and three fourths by five and three fourths. Woo, there we go. So on our, I told you I might be a little wonky here tonight. Um, so all you do is take your, um, your, um, your notebook opened and you add an inch in each direction. And what I'm going to do to start with is I am um, going to, um, score this um, an inch all the way. And so let me get my trimmer out. And I'm gonna go ahead and score it. Um, I'm using the designer paper textured chic. Um, it's got kind of a four season look to it. So I'm going to score, um, I'm gonna score three sides. I'm gonna score the long side and one of the short side and the lighter blade on the trimmer is the scoring one. So we'll do this. I see everybody saying hi. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, so we'll do this. I'll get myself all settled down here as we get into the groove. 
And then as I had um, everything set up, then hubby called and asked a favor. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to start off by scoring three sides, just an inch. Okay. So let me get this up. All right. So what we're going to do is you just pick the side that you want and I'm going to flip it upside down. So I want, this is going to be my um, front of my notebook cover. So I'm going to fold and I'm going to fold and I'm going to fold. So I fold, I um, put the long sides in first or down first and then um, fold the short side. And the reason why um, I'm going to do this um, this side last is that the measurements don't have to be like super exact, but this is going to allow me to get exactly where it needs to go if I don't score one of the short ends. All right, so if you see this right here, um, we've made little tuck pockets on either side. And so um, this notebook doesn't have a direction and the paper doesn't have a direction, so it won't really matter. So all we're going to do is um, I'm going to tuck one of the sides in like this, and you can see how that looks. And then this is where um, we have a little flexibility on this end. Because sometimes when you open it up, it's not, and you get kind of a binding on it, it's, um, it might not be exact. So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm just gonna finger press this where the other side is. Now I can open it up and we're gonna tuck it in to those little tabs. Open it back up, fold it, and we're done. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes to um, to make our our notebook cover. So again, you just open it up, measure it, and then um, then you can really get like the edges. And it's so pretty. Look, we took that plain notebook and did that. Um, I did this. Um, a couple of months ago, I had some extra designer series paper from Celebration last year. Um, and what I noticed, like for at least this notebook, um, it tended to want to open. So if yours does that, no big deal. Just take a rubber band or, you know, put a book on top of it, something to weight it down. Give it a couple of days and it'll rest. All right. So um, let's go ahead and we'll decorate this. But let me know if you like that. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Um, I'll do another size on the fly here as well. Um, now, um, whether you do this maybe for a craft fair or you're doing it as a gift and maybe you don't want to wait on like the rubber band or whatever, I always think it's kind of nice to have a little belly band for a presentation. And so because we started out with the 12 by 12 designer paper and then, you know, cut it back in this case uh, down to this case um, from 10 and 3 fourths by 7 and 3 fourths. Um, I had, of course, extra designer paper from that. So I'm making a belly band with that same designer paper. And this one um, is 10 by one and three fourths. And then I've got a layering piece of basic gray. Um, it's 10 by, or uh, th this is one and three fourths by 10, and this is one and a half by 10. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll glue these down here first. So I'll kind of glance over here on this. Oh, good. Pam says she's working on the craft fair item now. Um, I'm going to see if, um, I think I'm going to just do tone on tone. Oh my gosh, Pam, this would be great. You can, um, I'll show you the other one, which I know you can get pretty fast as far as the other little notebook. Um, we are doing for Thanksgiving, um, I'm hosting it and we are big card players um, and game players. We just love like to do that. And we're all kind of a little bit competitive. And so um, I'm like, I, as a wink and a nod, I said, we're going to play cards, keep track of how many wins we have, et cetera. And we're going to play for fabulous prizes. Well, this is going to be one of the fabulous prizes that somebody can get because with all of our card games that we do, sometimes there's scoring that, you know, we need to keep score. So this would be perfect for someone to take um, home as a fabulous prize, you know, for family game night. Okay, so I'm gonna make the belly band and I'm not too concerned about 
um, that this isn't quite even because I'm going to cover it up anyways. So as you saw, I kind of, I glued it first and now I'm going to break down the fiber a little bit on the belly band just to give it a little play. And I'm going to wrap it around the front of it. And, you know, I want them to be able to um, take it off. So I don't want to make it like super duper tight. And I'm going to get my tear and tape and put it on one of the ends. And I got this kind of, um, what do I want to say? It's pretty sturdy of a belly band. I'm going to put two tear and tapes on it. Get my take your pick tool and get this up. So this would be um, one of the projects that if you wanted to, you know, tune in next week and I'll show you the rest of the projects that we're going to do. And then, you know, it might be something that you want to do the class to go. We're not going to use this um, this paper for the Christmas one. I think I'm going to make it a little more. Um, oh, what do I want to say? A little maybe more generic on some of the projects so that people could use it beyond Christmas too. So I'm in the process of designing that. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, I'll, I'll show you what I used here. Um, the snowflakes came from the Season of Chic bundle, or I should say the dies, that's not, that's what that's called. That's called Chic Dies. I love this stamp set. Um, it's got all the seasons. So like if you're looking for a one and done stamp set that really has mileage, you could use that. Um, the sentiments didn't work for what I wanted to do, but I did use the snowflakes that kind of mirrored back to that. And then my sentiment that I'm gonna use, whoops, where did that one go? Oh, here we go. The sentiment I used from Joyful Flurry. I'm going to use the Joyful Wishes. And then my circle dies are from the Stitch Shape. So I just got all into my stash to use everything up on that. And um, let's see here. I'm going to use Basic Gray and my Joyful Wishes. Get this a little closer to me. Then a pretty font. I love it. Um, like I said, I was rushing around a little bit more. And um, I think what I would like with this color combination that I did, I almost, um, I think I would use white embossing powder on that. I think that would make it look really sharp and stand out. But you can play around with your layering that you want. I'm using the soft succulent and the basic gray for this. And let's see, I think I want some dimensionals. We'll get this popped up. Two of them on the little one. This is going to be a super fast um, class here tonight. And then we can put that on here. Of course, you could use whatever shapes, uh, layering shapes that you would like. And um, what I do is I put the dimensionals right on the belly band. That way I don't have to worry about um, not positioning them positioning them just so. Okay, I'll do that. Um, and one of the reasons why I kind of took the gray as well is that we're um, like the guys are um, playing again, playing cards too, of course. And so this way it's not all, um, if someone wants to get a notebook, um, it's, it's pretty, um, what do I want to say? You know, it's just neutral for everybody on it. So if my hubby, he would not pick anything that's floral, but you know, he might pick up something like this. And I want my glue dots. So just wanting to mirror a little bit of the snowflake. Again, like I think this would be a really um, cute and quick um, craft fair craft because simply because you um, like, look how quick you would do this if you weren't talking <laughs> while you were doing it. And a little cello bag in that and that would just be super fast um and quite honestly like sometimes you wouldn't even have to do like the christmas or whatever just make the belly band and put a you know to and from on it and i think it would work really well too so i'm using the glue dots and i'm kind of turning them over so that um cute i'm gonna put this down in a different way there we go i always like to kind of angle it 
And then since it's the holidays and since we're crafters, we love our bling. Let's get some of the basic rhinestones on here. Oops, I'm gonna put that right in the center of our snowflakes. Get a little bling action going. Done. Who would not love to get that? Isn't that so cute and easy? Um, and then, you know, they could just take the belly band off of it and then, you know, go to town. And I think what would be even um, like more special is that um, you could have another surprise when you open it up and maybe you could put a little special note here on the first page for them too. Um, if you're making this for yourself, let me show you a little something. So maybe you don't use all of the, um, you know, the notebook paper up by Christmas or whatever. And then you have your other pretty spring paper or whatever. Um, hang on to those. And because, you know, it's a no glue, you just make your other one. And again, this is a retired paper. It was last year's so celebration. I'm just using the same one. But then you can easily swap out your notebook cover. So you can make several of these as um, a gift as well as, be as um, beyond just one, you know, show the recipient um, how they can change it out. So maybe they have their Christmas one while they're doing their Christmas list, but they didn't use it all up. And then come January, you know, you give them another designer paper to, for them to switch out and then they can still use their, their pretty, pretty, um, it's a pretty notebook to have around. All right, let me get this one back. Again, just see how easy it is. Like once you um, you have it um, measured, so easy to just use the backing of the notebooks to get started again. And then on this one, you just kind of bend it. Don't worry about bending your your notebooks. It's it'll they'll play out just wonderful. Okay, so that's for this one. And then, you know, this is one that I had done ahead of time, but I just kind of thought I would share with you um, how you can do another one start to finish. So I've never measured this before. These are these um, small little composition notebooks that you can pick up. I think, um, well, I don't think, I know um, they came three in a pack. I got these at Walmart um, and I've had these in my craft stash forever. Um, Oh, I got the notebooks on at Amazon and I can have the link here when, um, after I'm done with the live, um, Diana, I'll let you know, but, um, they're just, um, craft notebooks from Amazon. Okay. So, um, let's test my theory, right? Uh, we'll test it live. So what we want to do is we're going to open up the notebook and see by opening up, it is going to account for any, um, um, what do I say? The binding thickness that you may have on it. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. And so opened up. Let's see, I think you guys can see that. It looks like it is um, six and a fourth. And if nothing else, you want to go a little um, more to it because, again, that last side um, has a little play. So I'm going to make this six and a half. So I'm going to jot that down. It is six and a half by, and let's see, that looks like it's four and a half. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to add two inches to this measurement. That will give us an inch on all four sides. So then we do plus two, plus two inches. So I need a piece of designer paper, eight and a half by six and a half. All right, so let's get out my trimmer. And this is why I chose like the textured chic paper as well, um, because it is four seasons. So if you did want to give a gift of the notebook, that would, you know, and they could switch out the paper, that's what we could do. All right, so let's see, six and a half. I'm going to have to open the arm. All right, so six and a half. Get that over here to the half inch. Okay, get the dark. So six and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna double check my measurements here. Yep, eight and a half. And 
get that up here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, add, we're going to score now uh, an inch on the two long sides and only one of the short side. So I guess I could have kept that here. So let's put this at one inch and make sure I got my scoring blade on there instead of my cutting blade. Score. Oop, I didn't have that down all up the way. I didn't think it felt like I was pressing hard enough. There we go. I had it um, popped out. Okay. And an inch on the long side. And an inch, and you can always go either way on the the trimmer as far as like which if you want to use the inch on the left of it too, you can. All right, so we have it scored an inch on all three sides. And again, what we were gonna do, we're gonna turn down the long side first. And then we'll turn down one of the short sides and Tuck in, let's see, it'll be this way. This one has, a, oh, I scored a little too hard on that, but we're going to just go with it. I'm going to, let's get that tucked in. Did I not score that at an inch? I don't think I scored it at an inch. Hmm. <laughs> Well, this is what we can do too. It's pretty easy peasy on it. I'm going to just go like this. So this is where this one needs to go. So I had that off when I scored it. And let's put that in. There we go. Oops, other way. No, I had it right. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. This one has to go in like this. Nothing like watching somebody struggle, right? <laughs> All righty, there we go. I told you I might be a hot mess tonight. Oh my gosh, I love that little gold on it. Okay, we're going to open this up and we're going to tuck this in. I don't know. I think my brain just shut off for just one quick second there. And then we're just going to tuck this guy in. Oh, it's cheap entertainment tonight, is it not? Oh, my goodness. And we'll get that in. And then we'll close it all up. Yay. You always do a practice one. But I was really trying to do one on the fly just to kind of show how easy it was. I made it difficult, but it's not. If you scored the right measurements, you would. Now you got a cute little pretty one on that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then you've got this cute little composition book. So, again, like this could um, easily be um, a craft fair item because I think um, these were maybe like... Um, I don't want to say they were three for a dollar, but they weren't too far from it. But you could almost even give um, a three pack um, to somebody um, as well or to have it as a craft fair item. All right. Let me bring in the other one for us um, and just kind of show you um, what you can do with it. All right, everybody. Um, I will go back through and um, look at comments and everything and respond to it. And I will definitely get you the link of those notebooks um, that I had. And um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. But anyways, enjoy this um, cute little um, no glue notepad cover that um, you can do for either decorating your own notepads, give as a gift or um, even use as a craft or item. All right, you guys, have a great Wednesday night, and I'll talk to you soon. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.